Hello, I am Shako. I am your science teacher. In this chapter, we are going to learn a lot of things about the inside of our planet Earth, like what is the origin of the, its energy, how many layers has it got, or what causes volcanoes and earthquakes. But a good start is to explain to you that most of the energy inside the Earth comes from residual heat from when the planet was formed around 4.5 billion years ago. At that time, Earth was so hot and over 80% of the mass of the planet was molten rock. Yes, like liquid, like magma. Of course, now Earth is colder, but it still contains great amounts of energy, as you may know. There is evidence of the internal energy of the Earth, and it can be seen in the uh, next things that I'm going to tell you. Like the volcanic activity. As you may know, volcanoes expel molten rock to the surface of the Earth, and also some gases to the air like water vapor or carbon dioxide. Also, the presence of geysers or hot springs is due to the presence of very hot rock underground. These rocks hit the groundwater, causing them. Also, another thing is violent movements of the crust of the Earth called earthquakes and are caused by the sudden release of accumulated energy making the Earth shake. And another piece of evidence is continental drift, because the gradual movement of the continents hmm, is caused by convection currents, you know, the convections down, that go from down to up, and these currents uh, are in the mantle of the Earth. Lastly, the last one is mountain formation. Mountains are formed by the folding of the Earth's crust and by volcanic activity, as you are looking here on the iPad. Let's talk about volcanism now. Volcanoes and the erupting volcanoes are proof that heat remains inside the mantle. However, the most intense volcanic activity cannot be seen directly huh? because it occurs on the ocean floor at mid-ocean ridges. Magmatism is the activity and flow of magma. Magma, what is magma? Magma is made up of molten rock, dissolved gases and fragments of minerals and rocks. Magma rise through the lithosphere following cracks of uh, cracks or openings in the crust and if, if it reaches the surface there is an eruption the erosion can be through a volcano that i'm sure you know but also through a physical eruption like the one you are watching now are you watching now here on the ipad okay when magma is close to the surface, the dissolved gases can separate from the liquid and escape. And what happens there? Uh, happens that it's going to be expelling molten rock and solid materials. This is the same as when you open a bottle of carbonated drink such as cola. When the molten rock loses its gases, it is called lava. In other words, after magma degassing, the magma becomes in lava. Okay. When a volcano is active, you will observe several things that you are looking here on the draw and in the 3D model. The eruption column, which consists of gases and volcanic ash, when it is expelled through the air. Gas release sometimes are very fast and can escape violently, causing explosions. The crater 
is the hole that surrounds the volcanic vent, also called pipe, and leads magma to the outside. This happens when magma degasses and it rises through the vent. Also, you are looking here, volcanic cones are formed after many years of accumulation of pyroclastic and old lava flows. Below the cone, we find the magma chamber, where the magma uh, remains together. 